Good evening, YouTubers. New time travel, Jaime88. I'm back with another video. And tonight, I am showing off my Doctor Who collection on VHS. And yes, I've been waiting to collect these classic adventures on video cassette. And so far in my collection, I have seven Doctor Who stories on VHS. And oh yes, I and this is my first time of me showing off these Doctor Who um, classic stories like I meant. And I'm a huge fan of Doctor Who since 1993. And the first one I saw when I was five years old, it was the case of Andrizani. That was one of the, um, the episode was voted by fans out there. And Doctor Who, they didn't start collecting VHS and didn't hit the U.S. until 1986. And that's when CBS Fox Video sub company, Playhouse Video, began collecting um, Doctor Who stories in omnibus format. And later down the line, around 1990, they started doing earlier black and white episodes or 1991, they started doing earlier black and white stories. Well, one of them has a earlier black and white stories, and each of the earlier episodes on VHS were edited into an omnibus format, like new ones you see on the PBS prints via Lionheart. Doctor Who got their VHS earlier before the US hit. They started doing their Doctor Who line in the UK in 1983. And their first Doctor Who story was Revenge of the Cybermen starring Tom Baker. And the collection of the videos grew popular and popular. And some of the Doctor Who stories were re-released many times in the UK in episodic format. But, however, these stories did not get... Re did not get a re-release in episodic format like these four s stories in, in Omnibus. I guess they stuck it with that. So, before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to um, Alex Patterson from the Doctor Who Guide. Alex, your videos are awesome. Keep up the good work and happy anniversary on your YouTube channel. And guys, Please check out Joshua, I mean, um, <laughs> the Doctor Who Guide on YouTube. That's what I meant. Alex Patterson, the Doctor Who Guide. He got new videos coming every single Saturday. So I'll give you the link in the description below. Let's begin. Here's the first story in the William Hartnell. This is an unearthly child. And this is the first episode, the televised adventures. You can see on the red trims. And I love the artwork. It has the first Doctor and Susan. And there they used the Doctor Who diamond logo from 1973 until 1980. I know on the BBC copy, the earlier releases, they used the Doctor Who neon logo before they switched to this um, logo. And then around 1997, they changed the logo to the Paul McGann error logo or the Pertwee slash Paul McGann logo. Air date for this, November 23rd through December 14th, 1963 in black and white, original unedited black and white recordings. And that's when the doctor takes um, the two school teachers to 100,000 BC. Fifty third week of 1991. I know my good friend Joshua Cook also uh, collected Doctor Who along with um, Carol Lou um, 744 and I believe Multimedia Chronicles too. 
Here's the seeds of death, and this is from 1990. The earlier UK release of this released in 1985, but Unearthly Child 1990 in the UK. And this is from Playhouse Video, aired in 1969. Black and white, 137 minutes. And this is the movie version, Omnibus. There is no um, ep episodic format of the Seas of Death here in the United States. And I believe um, the UK re release it. Here's the sticker label it's from the. Playhouse video on a purple sticker label, which I like that. The print date is March 8th, 1990, right here. And since this copy has a print date, we all know what this tape has at the end. Here's the promotional stills of the second doctor in the book and all the TARDIS console. And here's the Ice Warriors. The Ice Warriors. And then we go to Sparehead from Space. This is the introduction to John Pertwee's first story. And this story is 50 years old, I might say. But this video consists from 1991. There is an earlier release from 1988. And the cover design was used by Sid Sutton. Yeah, Sid Sutton did a wonderful job. And... I don't know who did this one, but it doesn't say who who made this wonderful artwork. I can't find any source of who made this wonderful artwork. Please let me know in the comments below. And this is aired on 1970. The first story to feature um, Elizabeth Shaw. And, Brig and plus the return of Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart. And the Doctor is exiled to Earth. And this is the first episode to be filmed in color because um, rather than sh use on videotape, this was shot entirely on film because due to the strike at the time. Sticker label. The print date March 19th, 1991, and it's printed on the 14th week of 1991. It has the same print date as on Star Trek, the original series episode, um, A Taste of Armageddon, I believe. Yep. And this is from 1988, but the video cassettes from 1991. Here's Death to the Dalek. For a season, a classic season 11 episode, and that's where Doctor was supposed to take uh, Sarah Jane to um, Ferona, but it veered off course into um, a planet. And this is a former rental from Music Temple Video. And this is still in seal, but it's open from the bottom. Because of the power, it's a planet called Exelon. This is a good episode. This is aired in 1974. 90 minutes, not rated, in Omnibus. September 28th, 1990, printed on the 41st week of 1990. So we all know what this tape has at the end. Here is the Andrea Tara. This is the, f um, the fourth Keep the Time series with the Fourth Doctor and Romana. It's a brilliant episode. And that's where they go to the search for this. Um, oh, I forgot what the planet called. It's, oh, the planet of Tara. Aired on November 25th through December 16th, 1978. This is the episodic format. They didn't use the omnibus edition. Eighth week of 1996. 
Here's Twant, Tom Baker's swan song, Logopolist. And this is the first appearances of Janet Fielding as Tegan. And this is aired in 1981, the final story. One of my favorites, a doctor's vision look back of the previous companions. It's the end. But the moment are prepare the moment are we prepare but the moment is beginning to prepare for I forgot what it was. I just dip into the future. We must prepare for the wars. That's a quote from the first doctor. And let's see what it says here and hmm, it doesn't say but this is a 1993 tape. It's backwards. It's 42nd week of 1993. But this is originally aired in the UK in 1991. But on a UK release. Oh boy. It doesn't say what, what this one came out. 1996. By the way, but this film is. And here's the five doctors. And this is. In the UK, it came out in 1985, but in the US, in 1989. For some bizarre reason, in the UK release, uh, they accidentally released the four part version of the five doctors instead of the 98 minute one. Let's play house video. The doctor no longer exists. And Tom Baker was supposed to take part in this story, but unfortunately um, declined to appear because, you know, because the Baker had a disagreement with um, John Nathan Turner. So they use Baker appears in that footage from the unfinished story shot up. And this was aired on November 23rd, 1983. However, the UK release didn't transmit it until November 25th, 1983. Sticker label. Print date is January 22nd, 1990. And it comes with this inserts. I don't have um, the Day of the Dalek, the Deadly Assassin. And I don't have um, the Robots of Death, Pyramids of Mars, and the Brains of Morbius. And I'll try to track down these um, Doctor Who episodes. And I know my good friend Joshua Cook collects the entire Doctor Who. Okay, so that's it for this week's um, video. Don't worry, I plan to get more Doctor Who in my VHS collection. And um, like I said... I've been waiting to collect um, Doctor Who stories on VHS, but I will get more, but I'm not going to, I know there's a, a Doctor Who lot on eBay with all the entire ser classic episodes, but, but the price is so ridiculous. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.